Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're live. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm a little different from my channel today. No video games. Um, but we are going to be doing a, fa a fantasy football draft. I got my treats. My Cheetos. I got my, my brats. Mmm. Got cheese in the middle of it. Good stuff. Um. Open up another. I want to just monitor my stream here. There we go. There we go. Got on my other. Uh... Okay. So yeah, we're live here. I have not done. <coughs> excuse me. I have not done a Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy stream. Yeah. No, a fantasy football stream. Ever. Um. I haven't done a fantasy football draft in maybe over a decade. Because I just, I fell out of love with fantasy football and it was kind of like making my Sundays miserable. But now that it's not for money, this is just free to play. I'm not, this is just for bragging rights right now. I don't know the people in my league. I'm, I'm playing with a bunch of randos. Um, yeah, I just wanted to play fantasy football this season. I just had this itch to to do it, you know, to set a lineup each week and, you know, see how I do. Um, I, plus, back when I did it, we didn't have these lovely tools that they have now. So I'm on fantasypros.com. I just signed up for an account today. I hooked it up to my NFL fantasy football league. And... Um, yeah, we're going to kind of use this. And I never actually went through and ever just like checked all the people that were getting drafted and everything. But we're just going to use kind of the experts' uh, opinions here. Plus, just some of the, what I know of the NFL and what I've seen over the, the preseason right now. And uh, we're just going to go and do this thing. A little bit less than five minutes remaining until the draft starts. I'm drafting fifth. Um, so we can kind of. Uh, I feel like CM Punk right now in the uh, press conference eating while I'm doing the press conference. What a dick, huh? What a dick he was last night. Anybody see that AEW media scrum after uh, AEW All Out last night? And no, it's not just because he disparaged the Pittsburgh Pen Penguins, which also kind of irritated me, but it's not just that. He just seemed like wholly unprofessional last night after winning the belt in his hometown. Tito's fingers. Tito's fingers. Okay. So I'm probably not going to be looking at chat a whole lot because I think this is going to be going like fast and furious here. <clears throat> but my guess is... Yeah, I don't know. Should I really be selecting a wide receiver first in the first round? I don't know. Everybody says to go against that, you know? Unless it's the top three wide receivers, which I would have a shot at. We're going to have a very interesting draft here because I'm right in the middle. So we're probably not going to get Jonathan Taylor or Christian McCaffrey or Cooper Cup or any of that. Um, most likely looking at Derrick Henry. 
depending on what the first four guys select here. Or Dalvin Cook, maybe. Okay, we're near the two-minute warning here. I'm going to finish my snacks. Mm. Yeah. I probably should have had some background music playing while we're doing this, but I don't want to get DMCA'd because I'd like to put this on YouTube probably. Also, I didn't have time to set up a playlist or anything, so. Sorry, guys. It's going to be kind of quiet. That's okay. Be fast and furious here. One minute remaining. Here we go. I don't have a lot of experience with these tools, so I'm probably going to be fumbling around a lot. And it's not going to be fun. But you're going to get to see all the action. Thirty seconds remaining. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to have to mark these down here as they happen. All right. Okay, so Jonathan Taylor's gone. Caffrey, gone. Eric Henry is gone. Your team is now on the clock. Okay, Cooper Cup is gone. So, do I take Justin Jeffrey or do I take Delvin Cook? They're both on Minnesota. Uh. Or I could take Eckler. I'm going to go against my better nature and take Justin Jeffrey here. <laughs> Should I have taken Delvin Cook? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Eckler's gone. Book is gone. Devontae Adams. Holy cow, they're going fast and furious here. Chase is gone. All right. Patrick Mahomes. Kelsey. Diggs. Mark Andrews. Tyreek Hill.
Your team is now on the clock. And Debo, Samuel. Uh, I need to pick though. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon. I hate fucking voting for. I got, I missed Debo here. Aaron Jones. Mike Evans. Najee Harris. Am I caught up? <laughs> Shit, how do I see my team? Shit. How do I see my team? <laughs> Fuck, I didn't want snake draft. That's funny. Well, that's what you're getting, bro. I want to know how I can see my team in here, goddammit. This sucks. You want they swift? Maybe I can see from here. Nope. Fuck, how do I have a way? Uh, Ian and Allen. Shit. Nope. Back. Ian and Allen. CD Lamb. Okay, my team. Oh, got, oh my god. Oh my god. How do I look at my team? Oh, right here. I'm a dumbass. It's on the side here. Okay. Good. Okay. Pittman. I get CD Lamb. Yeah. Okay. We're caught up. This is crazy. Alvin Kamara is still available. I I liked him in preseason. I I kind of want him. Uh, what is his body weight? Fourteen. Fourteen and okay, excellent. The so Joe Mixon has a bye week of ten, so that'll complement each other well. So I think that's who I'm going to go with. I don't. I'm not feeling Nick Chubb, dude. Also, Nick Chubb, what it. What's his bye week? Four. Okay, he's also 14. Or wait, no, it says here nine. Your team is now on the clock. Okay, who did they draft? Okay, Josh Allen got drafted. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to take Kamara, man. I, I liked what I saw out of him. Okay, so Josh Allen was taken, and I took Alvin Kamara. All right, we're caught up. Learn for net. I 
Okay, so I'm all good with running backs now. I got to look for wide receivers and a tight end and a quarterback. They're starting to get slower now, but with picking, which is good because I'm having a hard time keeping track. Okay, Nick Chubb is off the board. Barkley is off the board. Ezekiel Elliott. Yep, we're hammering out the running back here. David Montgomery. Interesting pick at that period. I would have picked uh, Javante Williams or James Conner over that for sure. Where are we at on wide receivers? Tight ends. Did nobody take Kyle Pitts yet? Hmm. Alan Robinson. Oh, shit. Io Pitts. AJ Brown. <clears throat> okay, caught up again. Jesus, those three went quick. Um, so we're at tier three on wide receivers. Tier two there. There's still some tier one quarterbacks. I could get Justin Herbert, maybe. So either Justin Herbert. T. Higgins. Portland Sutton, Sutton with Russell Wilson? Hmm. So I think that's who we'll target. Cortland Sutton. Mike Williams is gone. Cortland Sutton or what's a tight end? George Kittle, George Kittle, Portland Sutton, or Justin Herbert. I feel are going to be my my potential picks here. Your team is now on the clock. Who did they pick? James Conner. Okay. Um. E. Higgins is up there, though, man. Where is Sutton? He's not projected very much. I don't want all Cincinnati Bengals on my team either, though, so... Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, hold on. Kittle. I think Herbert, I think that's going to be our pick here. I think Herbert is going to be the way to go here. Justin Herbert.
I, I want a good quarterback on my team here. Okay, so what guys did I miss here? Jay Connor. Connor is gone. Waller is gone. Wilson. And Williams, the running back. Ah, oh, Javante Williams. All right, all the tier one through three is out for the running backs. That's okay. We got our running backs. We got all different bye weeks here too, which is awesome. All right, so we still need a wide receiver and a tight end. Who knows? Maybe Sutton will be available when they come back around, but I doubt it. Yeah, I don't really want to go with T. Higgins if I've got Joe Mixon in there because then they're just going to be taking away from one another. And that doesn't help. That doesn't help me at all. But Cortland Sutton, I think, would be a good one. What's he got? He's got a bye week of a nine. Uh... Perfect. Yeah. What about DJ Moore? DK Medcalf still out there. They just they don't have a quarterback situation that I really like, though. That's the problem. Of course, neither does DJ Moore, but look at that. Sutton, though, man. I mean, he's got Russell Wilson. Like, why is he so ranked, projected so low? That doesn't make sense to me. He might be a steal for me here. I don't know. Deontay Johnson. Picked. I feel like I have to have a really reliable tight end, though, too. Juju Smith-Schuster. E. Higgins is gone. I don't even know where the fuck Smith-Schuster is. There he is. Jacobs. Your team is now on the clock. God damn it. Okay, McLaurin. They took McLaurin. Okay, so it's going to be between the tight end or wide receiver here. I could get Kittle or I could get... Okay, uh, of all of the tight ends left, who's ranked highest? Him. What about the wide receivers? Brown. Arizona. Where was he at over here? Or Marquise Brown. Oh, Hollywood. Ah. Are we going to go with Hollywood? What what is he? Ah, uh, I don't know. Sutton or Holly? Ah, oh, fuck it. Hollywood Brown is by week 13. Hollywood. We're going Hollywood here, everybody. I'm going to see if I can get Cortland Sutton as my flex guy. Okay, Rodgers is taken. Yeah. 
So I don't know if I should get Cortland Sutton next or if I should just go for George Kittle. We need to have that reliable tight end, and I feel like George Kittle is that guy. They got Garoppolo back, right? So I would say he's probably my next pick. That or Sutton. I don't know about this DJ Moore, man. He's up there, too. Did I miss McLaurin? Yeah, I did. I missed McLaurin. Waddle. I'm missing some running backs here, too. ETN was taken. Hall taken. For Jacobs. Did I mark him already? Okay, I marked him. Okay. I mean, you got DK Madcalf out there still, too. Brandon Cooks up. And he's the number one receiver for that team. Is Cortland Sutton the number one receiver for Denver? I don't know. I don't know. Right there. Kittle's right there. Okay, so DK has a bye week of 11. <laughs> Need that starting tight end, though. Fuck. You're going to have to pick. Also, you got Dallas's guy right here, too. Mm. Which could come much later. Your team is now on the clock. Okay, who did he draft? Thomas, okay. So I think it's between Medcalf and Kittle. I don't see how you can say that DK Metcalf is going to have a better season this year than he did last year with Russ with Russell Wilson. And judging by what I saw in the preseason, their offensive line is atrocious. I think George Kittle is the. I think he's the safer pick. I think he's the safer pick. George Kittle is my selection. So Thomas from New Orleans was taken. Godwin was taken. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's going too fast. We got to find these guys. No. God damn it. Godwin. A more, more Jackson.
Okay, we're going to do the flex spot now. I'm definitely going for Cortland Sutton this time. Or D... Yeah, fuck it. I'm going with Sutton because I just don't feel good about Seattle. It's going to be one of those two if they're available. Easy pick. I'll pro I'm going to go with Sutton. If Sutton's available, I'll go with Sutton. If he's not, I'll go with Medcalf. Well, wait a minute. What about running backs? Well, who's left with running back? Mm. Yeah, I'm not feeling any of those guys. The wide receiver would be a better, better bet for the flex spot. Fuck, he took Sutton. Okay. I may not even have this guy. <laughs> I could still go for Jerry Judy, though, who's also in Denver. So now it's in between these two. I don't know, Jerry. Uh, ears. Here, Scottard. Knox. Your team is now on the clock. Acres. Okay, they took Acres and... Fuck it, I'll go with Metcalf. I'm going to regret that one. I'm going to regret that one. Maybe we can get Jerry Judy in the next set. I doubt it, but maybe for like a bench spot. Yeah, I missed that. I missed Acres. And... Missed. Back Ertz. Burrow. Woods. Oh, Jesus Christ, who the hell is that? Even hurts. All right, we need to start thinking what backups now, bench players. I don't know how soon to draft kickers and defense, but. <laughs> I don't know how soon people are going to start doing that. Okay. Dream Hunt. Come on, you guys. You're going too quick here. Think about your picks. Okay. Dolphins defense. Well, that was the first defense off the... Pick the Dolphins defense of all the defenses? Running back, Gibson. On. Did I catch up? <laughs> okay, we need to think about my team here. So, we've got our starters. We need to go for our bench now. Who's the best available here? Overalls. Let's go with overalls now. Elijah Mitchell. Yeah, we need to get a backup running back. A.J. Dillon, I don't feel, is a good one because they have... He's not their starting running back, right? We got Jerry Judy over here still.
Gary Judy. M. Gordon. Your team is now on the clock. Fuck, they took Jerry Judy at the last minute. <laughs> uh, I would say Elijah Mitchell. Ooh. Or I could take Kyler Murray. That's my backup quarterback. Ah, no. That's stupid to do. Yeah, let's take Mitchell. Let's take Mitchell. He'll be my backup uh, running back. We're thinking backups now here. Okay, which guy did I miss here? Gary Judy and M. Gordon. Where's Gordo at here? Shit. Here. Melvin Gordon. All right, they're starting to take fucking defenses now. Stafford's gone. Colts defense is gone. Bills defense is gone. So let's think about the defense here a little bit. Buccaneers defense would probably be a better pick than the 49ers just because the 49ers are in, elite, in a division with fucking Arizona and LA. Right? But the Buccaneers got Atlanta easy. Uh, New Orleans, eh. And then, um, is the other one? Who the hell is with them? NFC South. Oh, God, why am I drawing a blank? Why am I drawing a blank on who's the fucks in the AFC South? New Orleans, Atlanta, Tampa Bay. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, we took Kyler Murray. Shit, they took Justin Tucker too. Harris. That was the Patriot running back, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're full up on running backs. We don't need to worry about running backs anymore, I don't think. Your team is now on the clock. They took Adam Thielen. Okay. I could go for a defense, I could go for a kicker, or the best available lefts, which would be, uh, feeling this. I want reliable. Uh, You have a backup quarterback. Well, no. I need my everyday people that I'm going to be using. So, Tyler Bass or Tampa Bay's defense. Play Rams defense. Look at kickers here. I think Tyler Bass might be what I want. Other bass. I got my starting kicker. Got my starting kicker.
I just want to get my starter. So ne- the next thing up would be a defense, I think. I don't want to root for B- Tampa Bay. God damn it. Can I just get the Rams defense? <laughs> I just don't want to root for these fuckers. Bateman. I just feel like I'll feel better once I get all of my starters in place. Then we can work on the bench. I feel like I want to take a defense next. If reliable. Carolina. That was the other one I couldn't think of. Yeah, you got to pick the buck in your defense, dude. Those three other teams versus what is in the NFC West. Or Seattle really sucks. Yeah, going up against Arizona and the LA Rams offenses. Don't think that would be a good idea to pick the 49ers. I don't know. Yeah, I think Tampa Bay would be a better pick. All right, tight end taken here. That Dal- Dalton Schultz is still out there. He's a tier. High tier. Oh boy, oh boy, they're going fast and furious again. Devin Singletary, holy shit. Mason Crosby, uh, Buccaneers defense is taken. Okay, 49ers defense is going to be kind of automatically selected for us. They took the LA Rams defense. Well, did I get Mason Crosby off there? Crosby's gone. Dobbins and Penny are gone. Dobbins? Any Yeah, so 49ers defense or the Saints defense. Michael Thomas was taken, right? Can I see him taken? I just swore I saw Michael Thomas's name. Yeah, he's right there. Michael Thomas was taken. I missed that one. Whoops. Okay. Your team is now on the clock. I took Sanders to the running back. Dalton Schultz is still available. I need a defense. And I'm going to pick the fucking 49ers. Okay, now we can work on our bench. Now we can work on our bench. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. That Julio Jones? Yeah, Julio Jones. 
Smith. Oh boy, this is getting crazy. Your team is now on the clock. Shit. Okay, let's just take a look at what's available here. I think Dalton Schultz should be the guy, man. But who's left here? Quarterbacks. Tight end. Fryermuth. Did I miss him getting taken or something? Okay, he must have been taken. Uh. Mari Cooper? No. Oh, boy. Mario Cooper, he's got a bye week of nine. He doesn't have a quarterback worth a damn. Or I could take Pat Fryermuth. Or I could take Dak Prescott. My backup quarterback. Yeah, let's do that. Dak Prescott's my backup quarterback. Okay, I missed a ton of things here. I don't even know where I left off. Smith. I, I missed Smith here. Oh, what the fuck these guys are doing? They're just going so fuck fast. Bonta Smith was taken. While I'm on this screen. Where's Mooney? Daryl Mooney. London. Drake London. Renfro. Okay. And now we got to go over to the re running backs. Edwards Allaire. Patterson. Cordell Patterson. I hate you guys. I fucking hate you guys. You're going too quick now. Why are you going so goddamn fast? Shouldn't you be really thinking about these ones? Prescott Cousins. Carr. Fields. Nobody's taking Trey Lance. <laughs> Nobody's going to take Trey Lance. Uh, Edmonds. Pollard. Uh, Cooper was taken. Which sucks. I don't even have time to look at who I want. Fuck it. Your team is now on the clock. Okay, Packers defense. Lazard was taken. Uh, let's see here. Overall, who's the top overall left on this thing? Dylan and Ayuk. Miles Sanders. Who do I need? I need a, a backup wide receiver badly. Um, Ayuk is probably the way to go. <sighs> really going to rely on a lot of San Francisco guys, though, which I don't want to do. Miles Sanders, where is he at? Eh. Gage. Kirk. Christian Kirk. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Christian Kirk. Boom. Christian Kirk is on the team. Can't believe I picked a Jaguar. 
All right, so I need a backup tight end, a backup kicker, and a backup defense, and we're done. We're done. Oh my god, you fucking assholes. <laughs> Packers. Uh, Stevenson, the running back. Koo. Oh, man, that could have been a nice backup kicker there. I'm surprised not a lot of people taking kickers here. Oh, should I get a backup kicker or should I just not? Your team is now on the clock. Oh, shit. Who else did they take? Okay. I need a tight end. I definitely need a tight end. That's absolutely... He was taken by somebody. I don't know. Pat Fryermuth. Pat, Pat Fryermuth, I bet. Let's do it. Nine. No, fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. I picked. Fuck. He has a bye week of nine. So does my starting tight end. Shit. Fuck. I should have picked Higby. Damn it. Why did I do that? I wanted a Pittsburgh Steeler on my team. I'm sorry. I needed a Pittsburgh Steeler on my team. Well, this that's okay. If Kittle is not working out for me, I can put Fryermuth in most likely. They're pretty similar in terms. They're fairly close with their shit. Do I need to keep track of this shit anymore? I just people are going fucking crazy now. Where was I at? Jaseki. Jaseki was taken. Lance Carter Carlson Valdez Scandling. Wait, DeAndre Hopkins is still out there? Is DeAndre Hopkins still fucking out there? I mean, I know he's... What, he's suspended, right? He's suspended for a time? To, uh... Hardman Engage. Russell Gage. Looks hard in that. Raider. So I took Tyler Bass. We could get Evan McPherson. Ace Claypool is gone. Waller is gone. Or Walker, sorry, Walker. Santos. I want to look up DeAndre Hopkins. He 
He was taken. Somebody took him. How did I miss that? Your team is now on the clock. All right. They're just taking defenses and kickers at this point. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Should I take a position player? Or should I set up my team so that it's set for whenever I have bye weeks and off weeks and all that shit? What about defenses? Kickers? Evan McPherson is still out there. Okay, you're going to have to pick quickly. Uh, McPherson. Pick a defense next, then. I'll pick a defense and be done with it. Is this who's left? Saints are still there. I don't know why they have the fucking Cowboys projected so high. I get George Pickens. I can get... <laughs> He's my sleeper, man. He could be my sleeper. Week nine for for wide receivers. It would work. I think Pickens might be my last pick. This is my last pick, right? Pickens or defense. Pickens. I have a feeling the Saints defense is going to be available by the time this is over. George Pickens is going to be my last pick. You better not fucking pick him. Shit, I should have got Higbeat. I fucked up the tight end situation. Your team is now on the clock. This is a homer pick, but George Pickett's. <laughs> All right, there's your lineup, folks. Damn, I got, I got Herbert, Jefferson, all right, we'll see how this, this lineup goes, man. Thanks for attending the NFL Draft. Best of luck this season.
There you go. All right, draft is over. Oh, I want to leave. I want to leave. I want to look at my team. So I had one screw up there. Oh, Jesus Christ. What did I do now? Good Lord. All right, there you go. There's my team. Uh. Pretty much teams that I would want to root for, with the exception of, let's see, Dallas, Cincinnati. Yeah, Dallas and Cincinnati. Everybody else I'm fine with, but. The game center. Here is the week one matchup. I'm facing the guy who started the league. The Roethlisbergers. My projected total was higher than his. Ha 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 ha. Fuck you. He was a real homer when it came to picking Pittsburgh guys. Wasn't he? Oh, he had Smith Schuster too. Boswell. Johnson. Oh, he's the one who took Kyler Murray from me. So overall, I mean, no, well, yeah, he's he's got Jonathan Taylor, but my combined running back score, I think, beats his. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to monitor that wide receiver situation there with the Arizona Hollywood Brown situation. If he doesn't work out, we're gonna be putting in uh, either Kirk or Pickens here. So yeah, so for Kittle, Kittle's got eleven. He's got eight. Still beating him in the tight end category, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a close matchup, but I feel good about my lineup. I feel, I feel real, real good about my lineup. Um, It'll be interesting to see how the Pittsburgh defense handles Mixon. I mean, I'm going to be rooting for Pittsburgh, but Joe Mixon ran his ass off against the Steelers last year. Um, Atlanta's defense is known for being poor, so I think Kam Kamara would have a good day there. Um... If Minnesota has any chance against Green Bay, they're going to use Jefferson. It might have a tough time against the Chicago defense. I don't know. I don't know how hardcore the defense is for Chicago. But then they got the quarterback situation too there. And I don't think they're starting Trey Lance now. They've got Garoppolo back, so it might work out. Garoppolo hasn't been practicing, so I don't know how that's going to go. Uh oh, Denver's defense is probably going to stomp all over Seattle. <laughs> but I'm going to put Metcalf in there just to see what he does because he's their number one wide receiver. And if they're going to do something, they're going to throw it to Metcalf. Um, so opening night, this Thursday night, Thursday night football, Buffalo and the Rams. So I'll be looking for Buffalo to pull out a victory. Well, maybe not pull out a victory, but to kick a lot. I want them to kick a lot. Kick a bunch. 
I don't know. McPherson against Pittsburgh. Would we have a better chance with that one? He has a slightly better projection for that for week one. That's the only thing that I have there where that has a better projection. Dak Prescott has a fairly equal projection to, jo- to Herbert, but yeah, I'm totally keeping Herbert in there against the Vegas Raiders. That's I'm not going to put Prescott in there against the Buccaneers defense. Yeah. But yeah, my running back situation is definitely bolstered there. And that's a perfect graphic there. So Should be interesting. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me here on this fantasy draft. Maybe we'll do this yearly. It depends on how well I enjoy this experience this year. But uh, yeah. Take it easy, everybody. We'll see you.